what's going on guys it's dominator 666 In today's video I'm going to show you how to change your cold boot files on your uh, Regero console or whatever custom firmware you're on on CEX by the way a um, couple things you're going to want to do okay you're going to want to get your new cold boot file which in my case would be this one and you're also going to very important make a backup of your original just in case you want to go back to your original files okay and you're going to need firezilla now first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a multi-man on your playstation let's go over there now you're going to go to the settings portion and you're going to scroll all the way down it's the fourth one from the bottom it's right access to dev underscore flash you're going to want to enable that as soon as you you've enabled that you come over to your PlayStation or sorry <laughs> you come over to your laptop or computer whatever and you're going to open up Firezilla connect to it now down here you see dev underscore blind double click on that go to VSH double click resources double click and then your original cold boot files are going to be right down here you obviously make a backup of it put put it under original cold boot file and you grab your new ones get all three of them drag them right in here you're going to click OK on it three times go right you can close out Firezilla now and go back to your PlayStation once back at your PlayStation go back into Multiman okay well you shouldn't have left Multiman in the first place but go down to turn off system now that you turn it off once it's off, turn it back on, and your new cold boot will be on here. And the same goes in reverse if you want to go back to the original one. If anybody got any questions, comments, concerns, just you know, hit me up in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and have a good day. Enjoy that cold boot.